Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Moist. Oh, there you go. There's there's the sounds. Those are all of the sounds for you. You're welcome. Hello? What the? Someone is yelling at me. Okay. We have our albino friend. I'm not sure uh, what we're going to be doing next. I swear to God, I just saw a troll. Is there a troll? There's a troll. There's a troll in this village. Warden Zao Moonen. Uh, admired by the villagers, loved by the fellowship of the wardens, disliked by the denizens of Eid Freehold. Well, we'll make friends with them. <coughs> I don't think I've made friends with the, the warden yet. Uh, denizens of the Eid Freehold is decreased by 50 to negative 150. Am I, like, not okay? With the denizens of Eid Freehold. Uh, that would... Oh, I just shared the <laughs> location of Bela with a troll. I feel like that was not a good move. I wonder... Um, hmm, I guess if I make... If I ask them for a secret, they're going to give me warden secrets, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, so what are we going to do? I don't know. We're going to go and make that fat cash gonna go make them fat stacks of cash because uh, I, I don't really have anything more creative than that we could go to a grit gate but I don't want to I don't want to go to grit gate um, I know there's another named location I don't think I have dabbled much with that I could check it out and uh, we're lost in the hills why not we are lost in the hills as we tend to be lost in the hills. Okay, our albino ape has taken care of that. You regain your bearings. Very good. Let us leave. Let us depart. Let us go into the jungle. We are rapidly losing uh, drams because we um, that's what we do. We are our part amphibian and that just... That's how that happens. So we found a ruin uh, in the in the jungle. I should not be exploring this jungle ruin, but I am because I am being a bit more bold um, thanks to, you know, not having to restart from the beginning whenever I die. And it's a nice thing, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Because here's the thing, um, yes, there is a lot of danger in Cud, but also there is a, you know, there's a lot to explore as well. There's a lot to discover and um, being constantly afraid makes you makes you not want to explore. Is that a corpse on the ground? Kind of want to mark that corpse on the ground. Ooh, chainmail. Do we have, what do we have right now? Um, oh right, we have some, a named um, something. I should figure out what it is. We'll disassemble this burnt capacitor. Uh, so what what do we have? What is protect self? Is this leather? Yeah. So it's two and zero, which is, um, well, if I was a DV build, it would be better than uh, three negative one. But um, we're not a DV build. We are a normal build. So eight, AV is definitely going to be better than 7 AV. Um, let's see if we can. not th th This is the, the sucky thing about these mangrove trees is they do kind of make things difficult for us. Okay, we're good. Um, we're going to be starving soon. We apparently, fortunately land right next to um, my fireplace. We have 52 drams, so it costs us roughly 20 drams in order to get here. It's going to cost us another 20 drams to get back. We should be roughly aware of that. So, third floor. Shrine to Muppetar. Muppetar. My favorite Muppet. Um, the briny air of frogs. And immediately we have a legendary albino ape. Uh, that's going to be a bummer. They are hostile. Hated by the villagers of Shamrod. Disliked by the villagers of Ezra. Um, disliked by trees. There's not really much reason for us not to kill this lad, unfortunately. But I'll tell you one thing. There is a very good reason 
why we should try and proselytize this lad. Uh, but the thing I am slightly afraid of is that they are going to kill me in basically one blow. They didn't, so let's try and proselytize them. They are unconvinced, so we will temporal fugue. We are stunned. I'm going to let our lads um, do some work. The reputation with them has decreased and we're good. So, excellent. Uh, I don't know what our selves are shooting at exactly. Uh oh. Something is, just did a nice, oh no that's a fire blast, okay. I think I just heard a slug snout. Companion died. Yes, a slug has hit hit me. Um, not good. Okay, we'll wait over here and hope. Yeah. Oh, it's a double-headed. Right. I remember why I didn't want to come here. Well, can we make friends with you? Yes, we can. Two-headed slug snout is definitely twice the fun of a regular slug snout, but I don't mind too much. Um, I've talked a bit about my not really caring too much about slug snouts. I think that they are in some ways not as much of a threat. They, they, like, you know, objectively they're twice as much of a threat as a regular slug snout. But for some reason, ouch. Oof. For some reason, uh, bitten to death by a bloody quartz baboon. I, I feel less threatened by them. I'm gonna bail out of there. And apparently they killed that baboon like instantaneously. I uh, this is a this place is pretty risky. It's not necessarily a good place for us, but also we are kind of doing all right with it, so maybe it's the perfect place for us. Raw boar meat. So long as the toughest thing we fight is what we have encountered so far, then we should be okay. Please tell me. Nope, that's a not a friend. Okay, unconvinced. Nice. We're at the point now where albino apes don't pose much of a challenge, which is great. So we have the Coelodicus, Coelodicus, Mupart, uh, Mupatar, Boon. Man, I, I cannot speak. Apparently, let's see what this does for us. Ooh. Oh well, I gain, I gain. Uh, I have completed the quest. You've completed the quest. Uh, plus 10 acid resistance. That's an interesting one. Grants you electrical generation at level 3. If you already have electrical generation, its level is increased by 3. Um, it's fine. I'll wear it for now. It does give us the ability to power devices, which is kind of nice. I do like to power devices always, um, you know, um, my, my, uh, with a mutation because, um, you know, it means we can take things that uh, generally are kind of power hogs, or like, um, you know, some weapons, although some weapons are just so insanely power hoggish that, uh, oh, that it's not worth it. Um, we're going to temporal fugue and back up. There we go. We're, we've just about leveled up. Um... Yeah, if we can, uh, if, if we can, you know, get some, like, this is why I always like to make high intelligence builds, because getting to Tinker 3 is almost always worth it, and, uh, case in point, um, you know, like, getting something like, a, a, a named artifact which gives us electrical generation, suddenly a lot of technology has opened up to us, and is now worth it, where previously it would not necessarily be worth it because, um, you know, they're they're very demand. Technology is very demanding. Um, generally, if we want to make use of a lot of very useful tech, um, we're gonna also need to um, supply that technology with a lot of energy. It, oh no, we're not friends to the Arcanaut. We we made them mad. We upset them. Um, Oh no, okay, this could actually be really bad. Can we proselytize them? Nope. Yeah, that's... I... 
Uh, okay, this is what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to... Uh, no, we want to take some witchwood bark. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, is uh, the next move is going to kill us. And we're right next to water, so I can't actually... Oh, can we do an intimidate? This could save our life. Um, becomes afraid. Okay, so at least that bought us a turn. And we want a temporal fugue and like just leave, you know, make sure we're not in their proximity. Um, that was very close to death. The quartz baboon had um, every chance of dismembering us and destroying us. So don't mind meeting the fire um, slugs. That's fine. We are gaining um, a nice chunk of XP from killing them. And robots are generally worth killing. They den generally have a very good experience. So we've already gotten one. Oh, hoo, 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 oh boy. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one. I think, uh, I think I want to leave now. We've got a named location. Um, definitely it'd be worth getting more, you know, digging deeper into this name location, but maybe we're, when we're at a point where we can tank, like, four double-headed slug snouts, you know? Um, alright, so that's gonna do it for that. What we could do, like, I need to make friends with, um, goat folk. How does one do that? Well, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's not something I've ever done, ever. So, um, you know, why do we want to make friends with GoFolk? Well, we want to make friends with GoFolk so that I can make friends with Mamon uh, Soul Drinker. The alternative is to get a, um, a love injector and then just smack them with it um, and, uh, and then make friends with them that way. But um, Mamon Soul Drinker is nothing to mess around with. They are a pretty tough cookie. So I don't know if I necessarily want to try and do something like that. Um, I'm thinking, uh, it's a long way to go, but I'm thinking I'm going to go to Ezra. Go to some ruins. Sure, we'll stop by some ruins. I think it now is a pretty good time to, uh, do our Ezra thing. We have some frogs here. Oh, and goat folk. Okay, uh, temporal fugue time. I really don't want to die here because it would not count. Like, basically all the stuff I did in the name location will not count. So, uh, this is really bad. Okay, we're going to move out of that tile for a second. And attempt to... Oh my god, what is shooting me? Oh, I think that was... Hmm main stun. I think that was my own uh, temporal self doing some damage. Can we proselytize you? Doesn't seem to understand you. Well, that's no good. Can we rest here? Can we please stop getting inundated by goat folk? That would be really helpful. Unconvinced. Alright, well... I'm going to flee. I would love to pick up that item. Carbide hammer. Uh, has probably um, halted our run, so I got greedy. Oh, no, we're actually still sprinting somehow. Um, I'm going to eat some witchwood bark. We are confused. Okay, can we... There are hostels nearby. All right. Um, we have 130 turns before I get my temporal fugue back. And we have no more witchwood bark. So this could end in death. Um, can we examine this? Freezing longsword. That's not what we need. Well, what is this one? Wrist fan. Sure, that's nice. Uh, not exactly what we need. Let's see. Um, amber. St wow, this amber tip staff really is actually pretty good. 
Um, this carbide hammer is better, I think. But, um, like, that's... We, we, we should still use it. 3D2. Technic... Mm, I think 3D2 is actually better than 2D3. Because that's guaranteed 3 damage, whereas 2D3 is guaranteed 2 damage. Um, and... It's, it's the same max damage, but more uh, minimum damage. So the Amber Tip Staff is actually better, but it does have... Uh, the Carbide ham Hammer does have better pen. Um, so I'm thinking in this situation, we are going to want to... Um, let me see here. Can I do... I, I want to do my uh, Electrical Generation attack. Discharge is going to be a pretty good attack for us. Let's do like F2 on that and we're gonna go ahead and do that f2 see that does like 18 damage right away if we could like stun them that would be really good do we have conk do we have conk we don't have conk can we take conk now Where is it? Conk. We have exactly enough for conk. We also have enough for slam. Um, let's take conk. That's F4. We're going to conk them. And that killed them. I'm going to close that door. Okay, please just let me rest. All right. We're good. We're actually okay. This is still not a great place, but at least it's not a deadly place right now. I do kind of want to kill these frogs. They are proving to be somewhat of a challenge for me. Stop it. Stop frogging me. Wooden arrow. Oh no. Oh no. That is a still beard. Cult of the briny air of frogs. Why am I fighting a lot of briny airs to frogs? Um, I wonder, what's our faction with uh, unshelled reptile? Negative 475. So I'm uh, guessing that wearing crocusins. Well, we could wear a scaled cloth robe. That would provide 250 reputation. And then crocusins would provide another 100. So that would be 350. I think wearing both of these um, might do it. Are we still enemies? Yes, we are. All right, let's uh, Temporal Fugue. I hate that our allies shoot us. That's like truly devastating. Okay, we've discharged, and I'm going to conk. We are dying, Squirtle. I have to sprint away. Might actually die. Might die from my own dudes shooting me. Oh, man, these frogs are really annoying. Can you go away, please? Like, they're good-ish XP, but, man, they just, they do not stop. You know, I'm getting that sense, I get it, I, 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 I get it now, occasionally, where um, if I continue in this area, I will die. Because I've already had, like, two to three close encounters with death. You know what? Sure. Maybe we have to check out some of these Goat Folk Village in order to um, make friends with goat folk. So I'm just going to get them marked on my map and then we'll visit them at a later time. But um, yeah, like, you know, like it's when like Cud gets that kind of uncomfortable spiciness to it that I start to feel like, well, um, I'm doing okay. And so, therefore, I should be able to continue being okay. 
But that's actually your warning sign that if you continue, there's every opportunity for you to meet death. Um, and it sucks because you always, like whenever you die in that kind of situation, or at least whenever I die in that situation, I feel especially annoyed because I had every single opportunity to not be there. So um, I'm going to take the warning this time and uh, and you know excuse myself. So we're gonna we're gonna um, sell my protect self because I don't I don't care anymore about it. Uh, I could likely sell enough books in order to um, buy something important here like crystal shard mail that would actually do a lot to you know advance us forward we also we could sell the cybernetics credit wedge or we could sell the worldly toy of ikesh tinker home um i know we'll likely get some experience points or we're forgoing some experience points what are grave goods that's interesting let's see what's selling everything how far that will get us uh, I'm, not, I'm never going to sell the small sphere. Don't worry about that. But um, someone asked me recently, why do I hoard books without um, delivering them? The reason is, um, it's, a, it's a complicated uh, answer. But the reason is, is that the experience you get for handing in books is a flat rate. It's a flat rate experience. Um, it's in some ways easier to advance in the early game of early phase of cud than it is in the late phase because as you get uh, higher and higher level we don't want to sell that um eventually you'll get to the point where you need to fight stronger and stronger things uh in order to advance to continue advancing to um you know to get, continue getting experience basically so um, the reason I hoard books is because they are a flat rate, meaning they are value just as valuable at level one as they are at level, like say, thirty. Then they're a good way of continuing advancement um, without having to fight like crazy tough things uh, in the late game. Just because um, you are stronger in the late game uh, doesn't mean those those really difficult enemies aren't just as like dangerous they like they aren't as like world endingly difficult like you, for sure like if you met um i don't know um trying to think of a good example of uh, of a creature um like say a goat folk i guess if you met a goat folk in the in the early stages of cud then you would die like there's there's very little hope for you, right? But if you re, you know you get to a point where you're able to survive them, that doesn't mean that you can't still die. It means that maybe you can survive uh, a little bit longer. But um, hoarding hoarding the to those books means that you know at a certain point you can decide, okay, I'm level 30, 35, or whatever. Um, I can safely I can hand in these books and I'm. Prob I'll get strong enough that I can basically, you know, get to the late stages of CUD uh, more comfortably. So I did just hand in um, a lot of our books, unfortunately, for shared mail. I have made the decision to, um, you know, trade in some of that uh, that that experience for uh, early game progression. Um, so that's a decision. There's there's lots of books in the world. We'll get more. Uh, but now I'm at AV10, and that feels pretty good. Um, I don't have any experience or skill points, so I can't buy Tinker, unfortunately. But we'll, we'll eat some goat folk stuff nonetheless. I guess at AV10, um, with some of my current set of mutations, I would feel pretty comfortable going to Grit Gate. Sorry, not Grit Gate. Um... Bethesda, not Bethesda Sousa. Where am I going? <laughs> Where in the world am I going? You know the place. The pla Golgotha, that's the place. The place I don't like. You know the place. All right, so I am, can I increase, I can increase Temporal Fugue. So I will. Can I increase it again? No. Um, that's fine. 
we're still working towards some of the um, ludicrous achievements that uh, are like you know get have 20 10 or 20 clones in the same room i think um this will likely happen at bethesda susa because there's generally cloners at bethesda susa so i i don't know if they count in addition to the temporal clones but we'll see i also have 11 mutation points i could start putting that somewhere else what is temporal fugue um limited by Is that right now it's at nine so that allows me nine co or five copies it is kind of nice having only one uh like psychic trait mental mutation and then also like throwing all of your points into um into ego it is really nice because uh you really like you can you can basically pump up one mental mutation to a wow briny air of frogs again they are just everywhere you can get uh, you can get your one mental mutation to a really comfortably high state without um invoking the ire of uh the local mental um you know psychic league of villains whatever they Whatever they want to be called. Uh, I don't like this place. I'm leaving. There's a, just a lot of dangerous stuff there that I do not want to mess around with. So, um, we have 42 drams. Smell roasted boar nearby. We're going to have to come to these places if we want to make friends with goat folks. I think... I think the idea is if I can find enough legendary goat folk and uh, hit them with them them their love injectors and uh, become friendly with them, then that will eventually get us that goat folk rep that we crave. So we found a village. Villages are good because we could possibly make get some uh, extra reputation, desirable uh, reputation, and we got a little bit of info but nothing super useful just checking out this whole place we'll get we'll pick up our quests i am going to probably end the episode at golgotha um so what do we have here legendary chameleon oh that could be good unshelled reptile rep maybe nope shoot okay so they they probably have nothing we'll talk to the oracle Ooh, they're a robot and I can make friends with them. I need oil, though. So what kind of reputation do they have? Admired by robots. Yo, I, could this be the run where I make friends with robots? That would be really nice. I unfortunately do not have any oil. Right? You don't have any oil. Okay. Well, I can still accept your quest. Go to a lair. Um, apparently I have information on some other historical sites, Ekapad, Jeweler Home, um, and then recover the historical relic, Briny Mararad Boon. Um, so what is our new quest? We have another historical site. Find Bigapar. Locate Bigapar, lo located in five to nine parasangs west of the lair of Rudolph for for zip bolt oh man I'm not even going to um so I don't know what Bigapar is <laughs> return to Bibamar go to Bigapar and return to Bibamar um all right so let's mark that um location on our map the uh layer of the glow pad we could we could knock that out. Maybe maybe we'll do that instead of going to Golgotha. Big surprise, Mr. Big Simple does not want to go to the um doesn't want to go to Golgotha. Who saw that one coming? Not I. Not I. Uh, we're gonna go to the um this we we want I need to sell some stuff. And also, um, I, I want to save the game. Yo, is this, 
Is this a recoiler for uh, Kyakyukya? Is that a thing we can buy now? I somehow doubt it. But small stones generally signify are, are a recoiler. I don't really have anything to sell, unfortunately. Oh, we need to um, disassemble those strange tubes. So treat these as scrap and disassemble. Treat these as scrap and disassemble all. There we go. Um, yeah, I still need to sell some stuff. I'm sorry, I, I'm getting I'm getting distracted again. We can sell our chain mail. I'll keep the scaled cloth robe on the off chance that we encounter um, something bad. So um, we need to go how in what direction from that layer? It's all the way at the bottom here. Um, five to nine parasangs west. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. In fact, it might even be in the swamp. All right. So uh, I'm gonna, wait, is this it? Brass, no, it's not it. So this is it. No, that's a legendary boar. Where is this place? Um, four parasangs south of Omen Pork. Oh, Omen Pork. Oh my god, it's that river tile over there. Oh my god. That's awful. Th 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 there's every possibility for this Bagapur location to be either in the jungle or in the river. Probably in the river. Small chance of it being in the mountains, though. So I, I wouldn't mind that. But damn, if I don't want to do that right now. So we're going to go to Golgotha. Smell roasted boar. I've been smelling a lot of roasted boar, haven't I? That should be useful. Should prove useful. So I guess we'll do Golgotha in the next episode. And, uh, you know, it's, it's funny. Okay, legendary tortoise just kind of hanging out um tainted by the villagers of kyokyuka okay well let's uh go ahead and uh temporal fugue oh no burrows okay you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna jump into the uh vortex reason being is that's actually working towards another achievement cosmo chrononaut um and uh we ended up in a really good place actually Going to, getting getting thrown in the in the uh, the desert is not a bad thing. Now I could recoil out, but actually it wouldn't be a bad idea to go to the six day stilt, depending on how far we are. We're not that far. We could probably head right back. Oh, ruins. You know this is a this is going to be a series where I I embrace distraction a little bit because um, you know there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of achievements to obtain. And at least in that circumstance, I, I feel like the best thing for me to do was, don't get lost in the flower fields, uh, is to, uh, was to jump in the, in the vortex, both for an achievement and also to break the line of sight with um, the, the person who had started to explode my brain. Small cube, small trinket, small artifact. Lots of stuff that we can't grab. Floating glow sphere. I mean, we would would be kind of nice. Yo, know, this this lad is selling grit gate recoilers. Interesting. Um, they uh, they uh, they told me where I am, so I should be able to leave. What do you mean there are hostiles nearby? I don't agree. I never agree with that. Let's hope to goodness. Did we get lost in the ruins? No, worse. We got lost in the flower fields. Maybe we want to do some ruin diving. Oh, slug snout. Bear. Actually, there's some honey on the ground. I'm wondering if there's a legendary bear here. I'm not seeing them, but I, I got some extra free 
Which would bark? Ooh. No. Okay, we should be able to. What do you mean? What, what, what hostiles where? Hostiles where though? There are no hostiles near. Oh, there's a chameleon. Okay. Could I not see them? Were they camouflaged? Roasted boar. More roasted boar. I've encountered more roasted boar in this one episode than I have ever before. Can we leave? No, we can't. This is the, the trouble with doing this. Is there's a not 0% chance that we won't be able to leave. Um, carbide battle axe. We, we picked up something. Strange plant. Oh, those are the explodey seeds. Kind of want us to pick up the... Uh, axe but I don't think it's worth it okay can we leave no we're famished I I don't think I'll ever take amphibian again because uh, this has proved to be a, a tremendous pain in the butt if I'm being honest so is the tortoise dead it seems like they are elastine slippers I am not seeing an al oh we got a slumberling. I'm not seeing a uh, legendary tortoise no more. So I don't know what happened, but it seems like they they got destroyed. Oh, you know what? I bet you they woke up the slum the slumberling that we just woke up. Okay, we killed the slumberling. That was 500 XP we just made. There's another slumberling. Uh, I don't know how much extra time we've got on the Temporal Fugue, but let's go ahead and take them out as well, since that's another 500 XP. Okay, alright, so we are pretty much set up for Golgotha. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Let's go.